Hey, it's the casting couch. No, it's not. It's pickup time. Um, forgive the poor lighting. It is raining outside, so not much light is coming in through. So, to start with, we'll start with the non game stuff first. Um, went into what was known as cash converters in Bridgewater. Bought Call of Duty Ghost Camera. I think it's now called Money Monkey or something, or mate, yeah, something would do monkey. Anyway, you get your your camera. It's not high quality, but it'll do. It's meant to be a a sports like action camera. You strap it to your head or your chest with the various attachments. You get your PlayStation Three style lead and a SD card. Uh, the SD card uh, I've got with it, if I can get that back in, um, isn't fantastic. The computer won't recognise it and the camera um, don't record with it. It's some king something. Yeah, it's bad. I've put one of my SD cards in there and the camera works fine and obviously the computer recognises it. So... Um, it may not be the same with everyone's 4 gig memory card. It might just be that one. So I'll get another memory card to replace that one. Um, I might use it now and then. Probably not as much as the camera I'm using now. Because it's designed for action, this camera. So yeah, I got that. I paid the handsome sum of 20 quid. Which isn't bad. It's a slightly tough case. So that's good. But yeah, mainly because game related is, I know it's a piss poor excuse, but there you go, and pardon me French. So yes, that's the first thing. Game Boy Vance and Game Boy cases, not interesting, but I still need loads of them. They go over there. Right, I also got, just because I wanted them, nothing fantastic, Ultimate Cheats for obviously True Crimes LA um, and back when game used to be good um, I don't know if I'll use them if I play the game and complete it then I'll use the cheats for it to add replay value unless it's got new game plus I don't know because I haven't played it yet um, I probably will use this one and probably keep it on a separate file for Gran Turismo 4. I'll, un all, I'll unlock all the cars, hopefully, with this. And then on a separate file, I'll have one where it's not unlocked. And that'll probably be the one I do for the channel where it's not unlocked. But just so I know what cars are up and coming and what events are up and coming. And that one was five quid. And this one was 3.99. Uh, got the uh, what these ones came in a bundle with other stuff so I'm no this one didn't this one I paid two ninety nine, and by the looks of they got a bunch of PSP stuff and usual gunk on the back so yeah I will try and play more PMP, uh, PSP games I know I've been putting it off but I will try these slot came in a bundle you got Final Fantasy X2 Indiana Jones time splitters maps and unlock cards so yeah again this would probably be like say on separate save files but I will put standard up and then we'll see what they do like I said way back but I try not to use them if I can help it right Sticking with stuff like that, I've got myself I think from Final uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. I've got two more videos of that, and then that's done. So that's coming to an end. So you know that. Yes, I will be taking her out the box because obviously they've got something in the bottom here where you can't scan it. So because obviously I would leave it in the box otherwise right part of the 
bundles and stuff that I've been getting from eBay. Got Assassin's Creed 3. These are all obviously the videos that I'll be putting up. EA, well, Electronic Arts Showcase Christmas 2004. So we've got 2004 coming. Xbox uh, World 360. So apparently, again, four hour video. So that being two halves. There's a side A and side B. A Metal Gear Solid. I don't know if it's trailers or what but yeah i've got metal gear solid to put up i don't know did i i think i've got the other one anyway got spider-man uh, again psw which i like and then there's a special god of war free one anything on the back oh yeah there's other stuff on there so there's that this one I've seen on eBay. Uh, he wants a hundred odd quid for it. Yeah, if you buy it with the magazine, it's only like eleven quid. I got this in a bundle. No, I didn't. Paid individually five ninety nine for that. Why someone thinks it's worth a hundred, they're delusional. Oh, going back to EA. Where is it? There. It is sealed. Guys sent it sealed, so. That will be getting busted open. Another BSW, Star Wars, Full Sun Leashed. Bonus this for Driver Free. So we'll see if that's allowed up after I found out the past about Driver Free. Which, if you didn't know, the other driver game or it uses the engine is Watch Dogs. Xbox Vision. Um. When I get paid, I'll start buying some Xbox Vision ones. There's some reason, uh, reasonably priced, so there's that. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. As you know, I've got those videos to do of it. Split Second, brilliant game, worth getting. Splinter Cell. The Mixture. Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, Halo 3, the Guitar Hero 3, and one that comes in a plastic one, Call of Duty. So, that's those ones. And I was recently up Exeter, I went into a charity shop, and I saw Dead or Alive Strategy Guide comes with Full O and uh, Ridge Racer 6. Only a pound, as you can see. So, yeah, I might be sad and get a couple of these now. Now I know they also done books. Right, before we carry on with the non gaming stuff, I uh, can't see it because it's got the security tag on it, which I'll tear off. Make. I know that's really bad, but you should know what the cover looks like, hopefully. If not, I'm sure you can find it online. Could just about see it through there. So yeah, that's the security tag from Asda. Um, can't remember, I think that was 15, I think I paid for that. I haven't seen it, so I bought it. Mortal Kombat, the new one. I think there's another one after this. But four quid from MG Games in Western. So that's Mortal Kombat. Slag me off as much as you want in the comments. Pardon me French again. I bought Pixel. I didn't mind it. I was actually went to the cinema and saw it. Um, if I held out from getting it from CEX and went into MG Games, they got the 3D version. So... Yeah, I should have got the 3D version for a pound more. But it's it's not bad. It's more aimed at kids, I would say. Kids who like video games. Right, getting into the more grown-up stuff. Wonder Woman, only two quid as CCX, but Sainsbury's sticker on it, so, hmm. 
yeah it's not bad um i was on the mornings and i went and watched this and towards the end i was slowly nodding off because i was nice and warm comfortable and it was getting dark but i did see it all so yeah it's not because i was bored i was just cut tired so yeah got wonder woman now wonder woman 1984 i thought it was 1985 for some reason but yeah two quid more so four quid for that wonder woman so i haven't seen this at all so i'll watch that i don't know if they're like the marvel universes where they all link up i know some of them do and i'll get to that one but aquaman eight quid for that saw it on itv and i could tell they censored it because they're fighting on a boat these monsters or creatures are coming up and then next thing you know one's there speared on a trident and yet you don't actually see that so yeah itv obviously felt the need to cut that out so that's aquaman sticking with dc i got the justice league trilogy so you got man of steel batman versus um superman and the justice league one again i fell asleep through that i was so tired so i can watch i old pay 28 quid for this it's all on that 4k stuff so yeah but only rated 15 so a lot of your kids can watch it uh coming in with a dc cartoon the death of superman three pound 50 again cx i've heard the audio of um death of superman it was on bbc radio 2 or bbc radio 4 so yeah i'll watch the anime of it and then finally coming in which i need to see again black adam so good old dwayne johnson he's a good actor i really do think that so yeah we've got black adam to watch right i've now carry on with these ones issue number 30 and 36 of psm2 obviously three is the other one so yeah got these this is part of a bundle i got so yeah i'll be putting them up eventually uh i wait to the psw's catch up with the psm's so you'll have the same roughly numbers for each one so yeah and my first ever i'll try and get some more but they're a bit more pricier psi 2 there's um only a couple of these but they are expensive so yeah got men in black see so double sided disc so you have hopefully just movies on one side so i might be able to get away with either putting it up as two episodes or i may have to you to copyrights may have to stop them but yeah psi one i like again with dwayne johnson on the front for spy hunter psws number 80 i'll be working my way down but yeah you know these all coming out every friday i bring a video and over the bank holidays the nintendo ones outrun 2006 then obviously coast to coast came off of that and that's 78 there's the back Kill Zone, which a lot of people was disappointed in because they thought the trailer was the actual gameplay or they lied to them and said it was 61 24 on the back that's meant to be a good game so I'll, I'll dig that out 50 Cent and Total Old Dose Area 51 oh 58 there so it saves me still got to turn around anyway so yeah 48 burnout and smackdown versus raw back when the games were good and accessible to play and then on the back now they're just so hard to do uh this one the guy 
bought a WWE 2K16, costing £3.50. And that's the case he put it in. And there it is, Resident Evil. So, yeah, that's uh, another one I'll be putting up. I don't know, they do number them, but, ah, number 82. There you go. I'll put that on that pile. Um, before I carry on with this, i done a trade-in. I got a fair amount, so I bought a spare PlayStation 2 controller. So, I've got at least three now, so that should be enough. Uh, this is an eBay buy, obviously, for the PlayStation 1. All four McDonald's discs. I've got number two in its proper case, but I didn't know there was four of them. So, yeah, got all that, just standard case. But, yeah, McDonald's demos. So, yes, McDonald's did do something good for once. Um from my friend at work who his ebay website wants me to plug it is gaming made easy apparently his words the best seller there is the best in somerset and the games are in mint condition that part i will agree with his games are in mint condition and i bought from him 13 is a demo reason why i got that because basically it looks more than just the standard demos that you used to get on the playstation 2 so hopefully there'll be decent footage of it uh, some gameplay because i've showed footage already but yeah it stands out from their standard demos perhaps if they'd done more of them like that playstation 2 i would have bought them a lot sooner but yeah I can't remember how much, I think that was a fiver, that was only a fiver, so that was cheap. There you go, I've done your plug for you, and gave the honest truth. Right, Xbox, or XBM, the very first one, volume one. I've gone ahead and put up four before this ended up turning up, so you'll go have number four, and then I'll go back to number one. Uh, what one should I do next? So I'll do these two. A PSM 2, Silent Hill and Crisis, which never came out. Uh, it was a Crisis, well, not for the PlayStation 2. Crisis 2, I think, was the first on Xbox and then PlayStation 3. And then we ended up getting Crisis. But yes, can it run Crisis? Everyone should know that if you've been around long enough. And there's your back of stuff. Got another over two hours, apparently, on play. These ones are very hard to pl find, play. So, yeah, that's issue number five, or series number five. Play and Play Nation are very hard to find on eBay. I don't know why, and sometimes when I put in Play Nation, it changes it when I press confirm. So, yeah, they're hard to find, those two. Here's the one I was on about, Metal Gear, Guns of the Patriots. So, again, I don't know if it's a graphic novel, if it's, because it's got, like, chapters and that, so, I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if I can put that on youtube I'll, I'll give it a go it either say copyright and blocked so yeah i've got that and the first one that's the second one for you too um i think i paid a tenner for that so again ebay right the last non-gaming stuff xbox 360 vision again volume 12 with Half-Life 2 and all the other stuff on the back good old carbon carbon most wanted and underground 2 uh, the best in my opinion but we're all entitled to our own opinions Xbox world concentrating on the Xbox 360 now so you know 360 ones will be coming and not just original Xbox 
We've got dead rising. This took quite a while to arrive. And that's number, I can't see on there. Not without me magnifying glass. And then obviously you've got women on back. And then you've got Hitman Blood Money, which again, I can't really see. Oh, it's at the bottom again. 39 for this one. Yeah, Rumble Roses, that's it. That's what the women are from, Rumble Roses. So there's your back. Right, that's all the non-gaming stuff. On to the gaming stuff. They came from the sky. It's a budget title. You can see that. Um, £2.49. It's from a shop not in Bridgewater. Near Cash, um, Cash Monkey. And the opposite side to Proper Job. So, yeah. He's got loads of games. Loads of videos. And rare stuff as well. So, yeah. If you can't find it in the other shops. More than likely you'll find it in there. One for the Switch, which I did say I was trying to get hold of. Neo Geo Pocket, 25 quid at Cash Converters. That, again, was in um, Exeter. I managed to pick up quite a lot in there. you got, obviously, your Fighters, your um, Metal Slugs. So, yeah, that's the one. Volume 2, I'm not bothered about. But, yeah, got Volume 1. One I bought because, again, I don't have it. I have it for the 360, but not for the PlayStation 2. And you get more Tomb Raider Anniversary Collection. So you've got your Tomb Raider case. Front about it. It's not in mint condition, unfortunately. But the games still are. So you've got your lure on the front. And a bit there. It obviously folds out. So we've got Laura, Dinosaur, T-Rex, and then Laura again. So there you go. She's a twin. So every time you think she's died, it's not. It's probably her twin. Proof's right there. It is there. Now, seriously, this comes with three discs. You've got your, obviously, instructions. You've got your movie one, which comes with the Xbox 360 version. The main game. And one they don't offer, soundtrack. So, yes. Uh, it's not going to be banging soundtrack. But, yeah, I've got the anniversary. Again, that was at Exeter. A lot of these will be there. Um, what I've got game-wise. Um, except for this one. This one I bought at GM Games at Western. When I went up and saw me mate. Got it for the VR. Um, one I know there is number seven. I'll probably wait till that comes cheap. But yeah, VR. If it's anything nice like um, Wipeout and I think it's Test Drive or something like that that uses the VR. They are nice in VR. Unfortunately, obviously it does get hot and heavy after a while. But yeah, good half hour, forty five minutes, ten quid as you can see. Super trucks. This is either going to be really bad or one of those. Oh, that's quite surprising. Like truck simulator, a lot of people enjoy that once they start playing it. Again, PlayStation 2, only cash converter. There you go, the pound. That was that Bridgewater one, along with this one Extreme G Racing. Only 50p for this one. So yeah, Activision, so it should handle quite well. Bikes, sometimes a lot of them don't handle and they skid off everywhere, but hopefully that should be all right. And for 50p, if I only play it once. Cart Fury, um, 350, again, I got this at Exeter. I have put up a, one of these um, videos, I think it was a, PSW showing a nice lot of footage of that letting you know how um, at barrels are hidden like jumps over bridges or shortcuts so it's not your standard formula one because you also get nitro boosts and that so yeah I'm looking forward to playing that when I have the time 
GM Games in Western again, not the Taunton one. Sprint car. So these are those weird looking vehicles. I don't understand why they got that. It's obviously to do with balance, I assume. But you've got some fancy good looking car models in there as well. So yeah, we'll see how it is, see how it plays. But yeah, I've never really understood the shape of them. Perhaps if I'd done my research, I would. So yeah, got all that. Smash cars. Again, I don't know why it's got that title, considering they're remote control cars. Oh, I've just noticed the dog there. Never really noticed that. There is one for the PlayStation 3, but I don't know if it's a physical or if it's just digital. But yeah, PlayStation 2, remote control cars. I don't know why they couldn't call, ask the people and say, look, can we call it RC Racing like yours or RC Racing 2? Or team up and call it something like that. But yeah, smash cars they went for. I showed on the last pickup. Dakar Racing 2. Here's the first Dakar Racing. So yeah, it's only a pound. So it's got to have your bikes, your quad bikes, your vehicles. So we'll see if that's any good. The second one I did enjoy when I was playing it with a friend. But we'll see how it is single player. One of the best that they brought out for the PlayStation 2 and for Xbox. Midnight Club, as most people know it as, Rubber Dub Edition. Uh, there is a video explaining that, and it's stuck ever since. So yeah, instead of just Dub Edition Remix, we call it the Rubber Dub Edition. Because they said, oh, is that what the next one's going to be called, Rubber Dub Edition? Uh, 8 quid, brilliant game. Um, it picks up once you start tuning your car, obviously, and getting the ability, depending on what vehicle you chose. But yeah, that definitely will be up on the channel eventually. Don't know when, but definitely. The third in the trilogy of the Midway Arcade ones. I've got Volume 2, now free. One is the really early ones. But this obviously has Off-Road. You've got your Rush, which... Are good games and Hydro Thunder six quid for this one so yeah obviously see your Hydro Thunder which I thought is or think it is quite a hard game really it's addictive but hard and then obviously you got your San Francisco Rush 2049 you got your standard Rush I assume but yeah mixture so of course if budgets are tight which they are getting compilation if they're not bothered on what console they play eight games why not and keep quiet for a good couple hours this one there's a lot of lore behind it and i don't know when it takes part um you've got ace combat i don't know where this place is it's got no number so and I think number seven, even though that's the latest one out, is like third or fourth down the line. Because it's all due, obviously, with the timeline as well. But, yeah, without the number, I don't know if that's number three, four, five. No, five I know has a number. But, yeah, five and six, seven I know have number. But there's Ace Combat Assault, I think before seven so some do have numbers this might be a sideline one i don't know i should have done more research but feel free in the comments for those who do comment to correct me and uh, four quid for that one right the last two games uh exeter again cars in charity shop for 50p so i know it says three for a pound but there wasn't others that i didn't already have so yeah a little racing game hopefully should be all right oh crikey originally 22.99 only paid 50p see worth waiting bullet storm full clip um the dlc has been used that's why it says no dlc it's first person shooter the dlc would have been duke nukem skin but yeah, you get rewarded for doing style kills. So it's very arcadey. Um, you've got to like 
put kick them into bushes kick them up in the air bring them down with a certain gun shoot them while they're in the air explosives basically just rack up as much points as you can during that level so it's very arcadey and finally for the game side of it game of thrones by Telltales. Um, I, this will be coming once I finish the other Telltale games. So you know you've got Telltales coming. 12 quid for this on Xbox. So yeah, I do like these. Um, you get multiple choices. It affects how they react next time. Um, classic one. I haven't played it, but I've seen it on um, someone play it. The Walking Dead. Depending on what you say to them, they remember it. And then they may not help you or they might bring it up at an awkward time so yes game of thrones telltales um it's a shame they're not do going anymore right the last big one this is why i may not be doing one for quite a while in exeter yes a full one of these pandora things it's got um thousands of games on but we all know there's like 15 versions of Final Fight 1. There'd be like the English version, European version, Japanese version, American version. It's like we only need one version of it. Um, 20 versions of Street Fighter and everything else. Oh, we'll, we'll just call a football game a different game. I have put in, as a Tom and Jerry game on there, and they call it Cat and Mouse. It's like, well, no, the title screen is telling you what it's actually called put the name of the, what that is but yes arcade big stick i'll still be using the small one as well because unfortunately this one as good as it is doesn't want to accept 360 controllers or playstation controllers it says it could do a pc controller as well it's got the two separate to put in what's like and well i ain't got a pc controller but yeah i have to use that and playing fighting games for me with that i'm not that good so to use a trackball, uh, sorry, a stick, I'm not that good. But yeah, new lot of games be coming from it. So that's it. That's the reason why it's going to be a while before pick up. As you can see, there's a fair amount there. Okay, for those who can leave comments, uh, I have been appreciating. I have been looking at them. And to all the new subscribers, thank you for joining. And yeah, I just hope this can all bring you some five minutes entertainment on youtube so thank you very much and until next time whenever that is bye